You know how everybody thinks it's so cute to be in a toxic relationship in 2024? Everybody wants to be handled. Everybody wants a little aggression. If you ain't talked to me in three months and I don't see you pull up outside my house, then I know you don't really love me. Oh, I need a man who can handle me. I need a man who can tell me to shut up and sit down and listen. That's what I need. You know how everybody is saying that crazy wild stuff like, dang, we ain't got self-control no more. We don't want to, we don't want a person who gonna be kind to us, who's gonna be nice to us. We don't got to get handled. We don't got to get told to shut up. I don't got to come and pop up at your house because you're not answering my phone calls because we ain't playing them type of games <laughs> but uh that's the generation that we live in today and girl i was scrolling minding my business at my job you know working real hard and i found this video of this dude demolishing his ex's car um, he's, still, he's doing it. still here doing it he's um with the bat he's with the bat right now if y'all can please hurry up and come on i got his address and his name and number and everything i got his everything name is miko minor I mean, ooh, ooh, ooh. was taking a Louisville slugger to her windshield, her mirrors, her windows, everything. Then I did some research. I went to her page. She had exposed him for talking to underage girls. And I'm like, well, how'd you get the expose? How'd you get to know him? So then he and his sister, they come online and they get to talking about the situation. I'm like, well, you know, we don't like to be in nobody's business, but might as well. What's up, my friends? Welcome back to the Jaberhood. <laughs> I'm glad you came to our hood. You know, we're a community of intellectual individuals who like to talk about some stuff. And if that's your vibe, I think you found your tribe. Go ahead and like the video, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe to the channel. You can find me everywhere at the Just Case and Brand, Instagram, TikTok. I think I got a Twitter. Anyway, just find me everywhere at the Just Case and Brand. And let's get into the story because I feel like we don't talk enough about the bad side, the dark side to so those, ooh, let's be toxic relationships. Busting with your significant other, fist fighting your significant other, all of that, none of that stuff is ever okay and if you feel like your person can trigger you like that oh you need to get out you need to get your ass out quick fast and in a hurry because that's the easiest way to lose anything you worked for i'm talking about you could lose a car you could lose your apartment you could lose your job dangerous things that could happen and for those who want to get into it let's go you mad because you high schoolers telling me still on my out of there get out her car they not like us. They not like us. They not like us. I can't really see, but it's supposed to be him ramming the car, but it's all the way far in the left corner or right corner, so you really can't see. God damn it. Only y'all knew how many I made how many times I made this video. Okay. This is his sister. So as y'all know, my brother recently just went viral because of his little crash out video. Okay, boom. So this goes back to Thursday. I'm gonna get on here because he doesn't have TikTok, so I'm gonna let him use my account to basically tell his little side of the story a lot of motherfuckers a lot of motherfuckers in that comment section was saying a little lot of slick shit that i don't like that we are human we are sympathetic and we're not sick and that's my nephew in the back anyways so yeah i'm gonna let him get on here and tell his little side of the story i know a lot of people wanted a backstory and so people didn't give a fuck about what he had to say because of videos that they've seen before this i do believe that there is two sides to every story and like i said make it clear again i'm not defending anybody we're not justifying anyone in this situation but we do believe that both parties are responsible for what is happening right now and what has happened in the past and i don't mean the injuries or bruises or black eyes or any of that we don't condone that shit. we don't like that and again, not justifying it. I just don't like when about? my family is involved in shit. When me and especially my sister, we stay minding our business. We get money. We go to work. We live our lives. And mm -hmm. okay. we all live different lives. And we all, mm. we're family, yes. But we are very, like, personal, you know? Oh. So it's like, you got to Crazy. really get us out of character and involve us in some shit when now we're involved you know uh, i could tell i was supposed to raise them i could tell i was supposed to raise them because what you ain't gonna do is give me some bull ass excuse as to why you did something like this especially at his big age if i would have seen this video and this was my daughter i'd have called her say take it down take it down he shouldn't have been out there acting no dang on fool hitting another woman's car knowing he ain't got the money to, to afford to pay for nothing to get fixed so no take this video down i would ask the young lady to take the video down if she chose not to because she has to you know do what she has to do to protect herself 
so be it. But I'm for sure not about to get up here and defend something this crazy, nor am I gonna, our family is personal, our family is personal, duh. And you know what? You should handle this inside of your family and you should be talking to him, not trying to share his story. You should be talking to him as his sister and telling him what he did was completely wrong, blood or not. If your people who are close to you can't tell you when you messing up, who can? Who you gonna trust? You know what I'm saying? I don't like that kids were involved. I hate the fact that kids are getting involved in grown adult shit that needs to be handled properly and by the police but we're not going to ignore the fact that there has been not only her kids involved but my sister's son and i'm pretty sure like other kids involved oh in shit in the past oh so what the kids standing at the ice cream stand being like i can't believe your brother did that to my sister i can't believe that your brother did that to my sister sit them seven-year-olds down tell them stay out of grown people business and grown people act grown if kids start to get to wandering and stuff that's when you got to stop you know put a little chill on and be like okay i ain't about to keep on getting all crazy because these kids over here let me practice self-control then you know we'll go back to arguing once these kids out of here that's all you got to do y'all act like y'all can't regulate nothing but want everybody to understand why this young man decided to go all crazy no have made it very unsafe and very unsafe situations for my family as well like i said though i don't like when kids are involved ever that needs okay, to girl. be with the adult and shit my nephew had just walked in but anyways yeah like i said kids never so that really is fucked up that that shit happened now when you saying kids do you mean the young ladies your brother was inboxing because that's what the story is he was inboxing some girls grooming them to be nice and ready when they got out of high school so what kids we talking about stupid Huh? What kids are we talking about? This is, this is another reason why if I was there, my mom would call her and say, take that down. Until we know exactly what's going on. If he was really grooming young girls and you sitting up, I don't like when kids get involved. I don't like when kids get involved. Girl, girl, shut up. Okay, wait until you figure out all the facts before you get to defending some stuff that you probably are not going to want to backtrack and backwalk. So I just want to get it out there that me and my sister we were the really ones minding our business my mama always try to help that girl i always try to get her give her some advice as much as she as much as she could you know like people are going to take the advice that they want to take people grown people are grown people and when you telling somebody grown to do something that's literally like what they're gonna do they're either gonna do it or they're just oh. not gonna hear shit until something bad wow. happens Ugh. Yes, I have my own dislikes about her, but mm -hmm. like I said, I just go get my money and I'm on my business. I Mine really honestly could give a fuck. It's after. just now it's like we're all involved. We have no choice but to give a fuck, you know. Anyways, though, so to wrap it up, the phone here. this happened Thursday night from Monday to Thursday, some shit like that. And yes, he got bailed out of jail. Yes, she said who bailed him out of jail. No, it was not me. But one thing about my family is when we get into some shit, depending on how bad it is, which it was bad, but like, there's like, we're we're living in real life. Like this social media shit only goes on for so long. <laughs> and we're like real life, we live our lives. Like we have- Listen, when you talk about how your family sticks together and some stuff, let me, y'all know what? We gonna get real real. When we're talking about family sticking together, not only did I lose my child to natural causes at the age of 10, but my older sister, she lost her child at the age of nine to an asthma attack. And you know, me and my family, we was having our normal dysfunctional stuff, but that's when we came together. For the funerals, for the celebrations, for every single holiday, every single birthday, we know, got to put them differences aside because we're still a grieving family at the end of the day with two kids who are up in heaven, but thank God we got some angels. You sitting up here telling us that you a family that stick together because you went and bonded that never Girl, girl y'all wasn't even supposed to get him out. Y'all was supposed to leave him in there. Cause wait till y'all hear him talking. Oh my God. He like, and then the, uh, the, the I'm telling you, he should the boy should have been inside with a helmet on, practicing hooked on phonics. He didn't have no business being outside playing G.I. Joe. To continue to go to work. We had to continue to wake up every day and we have to continue to get shit done for us oh. to elevate. Okay. Oh. And look at him. So him getting out was really so that he could get his car. One thing that I want to put out there though is that me and my mother both had came to like a like like he should have 
stayed in there longer in our personal opinions uh -huh. but you know shit just works out we really hate to see any of us really sitting in jail over some shit which yes we do feel for her that she lost her car and that it went down that way but we'll be damned if we let any of us sit up in jail whether anybody what flex is this what's up tiktok so ladies 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 beware beware i'm telling you i used to date a snaggle tooth look just like this he could dress and stuff like that you know what i'm saying he seemed like he came off like a good person he seemed like he had himself together but girl when them arguments started and he started to get ah, ah, so, oh, we don't do no yelling <laughs> just in case don't do no yelling okay because i already know where that's gonna take me to and i'm not trying to do that so let me go ahead exit stay left because i ain't got no time for that beautiful man easy on the eyes great company to be around but just not he didn't have a good heart and soul to me i bet that young lady she was looking at this man. She was like, oh, he is so fine. He looked like Quavo and him. And you know, he is so cute. Ooh, I'm gonna give him a chance. I'm gonna give him a chance. Should have listened to that conversation. Should have listened to that conversation. You can learn a lot about somebody by just talking with them for about an hour, asking questions, staying quiet. Like say they answer a question or they ask you something and you answer the question and it's kind of that lull. Leave, leave that silence there for a second. Let it digest what he's saying, what you saying, what y'all saying to each other. Let it digest. See, see, what, see what's going on. Because I'm telling you, at my age, if I would have had a conversation with this young man, I would have automatically knew he's not emotionally stable enough to have a relationship. Yeah, I'm the guy from the video destroying my ex's car, right? First off, I, I just want to start this out by saying I apologize for that shit. I should never have went over there and did that. I acted off of anger and emotions i should never have done that Whoop. now my homegirls know what we we all know what we just heard i acted off of emotions i should have just never done that can you say that whenever you accidentally choke her to death oh i acted off emotions i should have just never done that can you just say that when you shoot her when you when you take it too far can you just i accidentally done that you know where you're gonna be at sir sitting in jail sitting underneath the jail they're not about to play with you and i apologize if you watching this, I'm sorry I destroyed your car, okay? But I will say this though, you. so I, I know y'all seen her videos of her posting me destroying the car, the other videos of her talking about it, talking about uh, posting pictures of and videos of injuries that she sustained during the relationship. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to tell my side of all that because the truth is not being said. The truth is not being said. Yes, I did like, things let me get my camera that got her to the point of wanting to put her hands on me and I had to protect myself. Hers up and down, she's done with me, she don't want shit to do with me, she don't want to be with me. Cool. I left it at that. I was I had not tried to contact her or see her anymore after I had popped up on her at her mother's house, her arriving home in Texas from Miami. After that, I was her. done. Wait, wait a second. Wait a I second. was Who's done. Fast for us. Okay, so let me give a little bit of a backtrack. She was out of town when he was um, being all crazy about trying to hunt her down, track her down, get in contact with her. He wanted to really talk to her. That's that's stalkerish behavior. That's crazy behavior. If we got to get into that type of, oh, since you won't talk to me, I'm about to come and find you. Now I'm about to stalk you. Now I'm about to be a trap. If we get into all that, I'm about to put a restraining order on that ass because we ain't playing that game. I'm an individual. I, you can't possess a person. You, and if you feel so insecure and so jealous about when they leave you or when, when you're not with them or something like that, that's another sign. This is not the person that you need to be with. It's, it's just not. I lifted it at that. She came and harassed me now. It was her turn and she took it. She came and harassed me. Her sister, she told me that her sister told her that she saw me in the apartment complex picking up another woman. Now, the woman that I was with Thursday night, the woman that I picked up, she happens to live in the exact same apartment complex as my ex's mother and sisters, right? So her sister told her that she seen me over there creeping around, staking out the apartment. That is not true. I was over there for somebody else. I had my own thing going. I was not worried about what my ex was doing, but she was clearly worried about what I was doing because y'all. I'd have hopped over the table on my son if he said this to me in front of my face. I'd have choked him. So you knew. You knew you would be seen over there. Don't be trying to, I didn't know, I didn't know. So I, I didn't even go over there for her. I really went over there because of somebody else. So it's crazy that they said that I was over there creeping because I wasn't creeping. I was sleeping with a new woman. 
You knew exactly what you were doing. You knew not to carry your ass over there and you decided to do it anyway. So don't don't try to act like it ha just such a coinky dink. You knew where the girl stayed at. If you already is saying we have this toxic behavior where we go back and forth, back and forth, I shouldn't be around her. Why would you go somewhere you could be seen at in order to be around her? This woman popped up on me at Applebee's, bro. Me and my date pulled up to Applebee's. We finna go, go inside and eat. But we didn't even have a chance to get out the car, bro. She pulled up on us. She got out of her car, started banging on the passenger side where my uh, date was sitting, trying to open that door. Then she comes on my side, trying to open the door, banging on my window, saying... Now, if the girl did do this, because the girl, she only been talking about all the stuff that he has done to her. She hasn't said what she may have provoked. She hasn't said if she was putting hands on him or anything like that. Mind you, they are also very young. I feel like they probably like 20, 21. If a man tells you he don't want to be with you, there's no reason for you to go up to that restaurant or to be following him or anything like that. What you doing chasing a man? What you doing trying to figure out what he doing? Why, why are you up there showing the other girl that you look like a damn fool being up? There? That's my man, that's my man. He ain't even with you. He got a new bitch in the car and you want to sit up there and try to, oh, what are you fighting for? What are you doing? Things, and then she tried to destroy my car, right? And so she went, after that, she called me, cause I was blocked, right? I was blocked. She called me and said, I'm finna regret, I'm finna regret this, right? She, so she has control of my old Facebook account. She has control of my old Facebook account because she stole my phone. She stole my phone after we had gotten into it one time last year. She stole my phone and she got into it because she knows the, she knew the passcode because she's <laughs> sneaky like that. She's sneaky. Like I said, the whole but, truth but is not being said and I need to speak my side of the story because she trying to make me look like I'm just this horrible ass person and I'm really not like yes i've done things i'm not proud of i'm not perfect i'm a human being i'm not proud of the things I'm do i've done to her or in my past life i'm not proud of it i don't want to be looked at in that light anymore i don't want to be looked at in that way anymore because i really am a good person i help people out when i can i'm there for my people my friends all that uh, i just i'm just not finna just sit here and let her paint me in a bad light and show the whole country like that's not that's not what's gonna happen i'm gonna tell my side of the story so thursday night this all happened thursday night this past thursday night today is saturday this happened thursday night i was on a date she pulled up on us at applebee's trying to cause a scene and then i leave she calls me saying she's gonna post on my facebook expose me on some old shit that i did in my past things that i'm not proud of but she was not even supposed to know about because but she stole my phone though she stole my phone man she stole my phone hacked my facebook hacked my instagram and during that time i was able to regain control of my instagram thank god but she still has control of my facebook my old facebook to this day and she went and posted some things on my facebook tagged my family members in it and all that shit trying to expose me on some shit and she did she did but i like so i seen the shit while i'm leaving applebee's while i'm on my date i see the shit and so i get done with my date or whatever and then i go back home and yeah i grab the bat and i go over to where she's staying right now and i went over there and i beat her fucking car up you know what i'm saying that makes me wonder now, I know he got exposed for inboxing underage girls. What else you been doing? What else you been doing to get that angry? You you actually had time. And I'm just, if, for my true crime homegirls, y'all already know what I'm about to say. You had time to think about exactly what you was about to do. You drove, took that girl home. You drove to your house. You picked up a bat. You drove to her house. And a span of, I said, I get that about, what, what y'all say? 30, 40 minutes. You couldn't calm yourself down. You couldn't calm yourself down. You couldn't explain what was happening to your family. Yeah, I inboxed them underage girls. I know I shouldn't have did it, but you know what? I'm done with that girl. I'm done with that girl. I block her. Cause that would have been the most that she could have done was expose your messages. Okay, so she exposed your messages. You was messing up with that. But why would you make it bigger by taking yourself all the way over there and ruining her property? Why would you do that? Because you're that mad or because you was up to something else? What else was you doing behind the messages? Was you meeting up with these young girls? 
Was you taking things too far? Because if you were, now we're looking at another problem. Are you insecure about getting with girls your age? But, but I don't understand why you would want to go to a younger woman. You know what I'm saying? If you are able to pull women in your age range, why are you going to young girls? Unless you do want to groom them, unless you have groomed them, unless you have done a little bit too much outside. Because I was so mad because this is the second time she's done this shit. Oh, she so you know she does this. Back in 2023 when she hacked my Facebook, took control of it and tried to expose me. And she did. She did all that shit. And she refuses to give me back my old Facebook to this day, y'all. She's crazy like that. She done swore on her dead father that she's not, I'm never ever gonna get my old Facebook back. And that is just crazy to me because it's mine, man. You need to calm down and you need to let it go. Let it go. I mean, I don't know what's going on with his hair. I just now noticed that. That's throwing me off a little bit. Anyway, he needs to just let it go. Let it go. You gonna expose me again? Expose me again. I just know not to use that Facebook. I just know not to use that social media platform. Let me tell you something. When somebody tries to hang something over my head in order to make me do what they want me to do, especially when it comes to a significant other, I will let that thing go so quickly. Oh, you don't wanna be together? I'ma let you go. Oh, you don't wanna live together? I'ma let you go. Oh, you wanna keep on doing whatever you wanna do? You don't wanna listen to what I'm trying to ask you to do? I'ma let you go. I'm not gonna stay tied to something that's gonna start wearing me out emotionally because why? That's all the girl is doing. She just wearing him out emotionally and his dumb self just keep on wandering on back. Okay, the first time she did this was last year. The second time she did this was this year. Damn, you didn't learn the first time? How you not how you not learn the first time? You're not even supposed to know about the past things that I've done, man. Nobody is supposed to know about that shit, man. I'm not proud of it. I shouldn't have did that shit either, but I'm not perfect. I'm literally trying to be a better person, mm -hmm. work towards being a better person, get my life on a better track. And she just wants to keep painting me in a bad light. And that's just not who I am. I'm not who I, that's not who I am, man. I'm trying. I'm literally trying. I'm, I thought in a woman's eyes, a trying man is everything, right? I'm literally out here trying to do better for myself. And if she had decided to take me back, cause I, the last time she broke, the last time she broke over me, two, two, three weeks went by. Yes, uh, she said in the video that I was blowing her up on cash apps, sending her money, emails, fucking uh, fake numbers, text me now, trying to talk to her. Yes, I did all that. I'm not finna sit here and deny none of that. I did all that because I loved this girl so much. I've never loved uh -huh. a woman more uh -huh. than I love her because nope, she really nope, did. Nope, nope, nope. That's not love. That is not love. That is not love. That is not love. This fool is toxic as I don't know what. He has that possession thing. You're mine, you're mine. You're the prettiest woman that I've ever had in my whole life and I love you so much. That means you can't go anywhere. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. Hell no, that ain't no love. Love is saying, you know what? If you got to go, you got to go. But if you come back, that's how I know. Hold, hold a nigga down, you know what I'm saying? She was good to me and I hurt her. I did her bad things I wish L. I never should have done, man. And I realized all that. I learned, I learned my lesson, man. I learned my lesson. I had an epiphany or a realization, whatever you want to call it. Basically, I decided I'm not finna do this no more. I'm not finna treat her like this no more. I want to do right. I loved this woman. I want to marry her. I, I wanted to marry her, start a family, all that, but all that shit gone now because she done went and done did all this extra shit, but she's not, she's not telling everything that happened because she wants to look like the victim. She, she is not, She's not, her hands are not 100% clean in this situation either. There's just not, everything that she said about me, stalking her, popping up on her, texting her from fake numbers, calling her, she did all that shit to me too. There was a time where I did not want to be with her either. I was done with her too, but she fucking reeled me back in. She reeled me back in. Just like I reeled her back in so many times, she reeled me back in so many times. It was just, it was just a... The, it was just a toxic situation. We both knew we needed to leave each other alone, but that the love we had for each other wouldn't allow us to do that. But now, all that shit dead wood. I swear to God, I don't want nothing to do with this woman. I'm definitely sure that she wants nothing. Drop in the comments if you think they're gonna be back together because neither one of them are gonna learn their lesson until they take it too far. Hello, Krishan. Do with me, she fucking trying to make it seem like she fears for her safety, her daughter's safety. I never once ever had no ill will towards her, never ever wanted to kill her, none of that. She tried to, she literally tried to stab me when we was in Colorado. She tried to take my life several times, pulled a knife on me, man, because of things that I did that I'm not proud of and I'm so sorry about the shit. And I tried to get her to understand and see that I was 
truly and genuinely sorry for the shit that I did to her, man. But she was just not trying to hear it. She didn't give a fuck. She was just not trying to hear that shit and not look where we at. The whole country knows about this shit, man. And this shit never have even got to this point. We should have left. Oh, shit. We should have left. We should have left each other alone a long time ago. We both should have left each other alone a long time ago. I can't find the young girl's videos because she has them all privated. So I can't get, you know, get them off because I wanted to actually view what she was saying and get a better understanding of how she was feeling in the situation and what truly happened. But what I can say is when it comes to situations like this, continuously blaming outside forces for why you acting the way you acting is going to keep you in that same circle, that same toxic circle. I didn't do it. They made me do it. I didn't do it. They made me do it. I didn't want to do it. They made me do it. Where do you think that circle going to get you? No damn where. That's where it's going to get you. The whole world knows now because, sir, you decided to take it to that level when you should have just got on Facebook, said, yep, I, I, I messed up. I ain't even with old girl. So I don't know why she over here talking about the things that I was doing or about me talking to young girls or high school girls or whatever. Cause now I have a whole new girl in my car. I'm talking to a new, like there's so many different ways you could have handled this as a man. You could have just accepted accountability and left her alone, left her alone. That'd have killed her more. I'm telling you, anytime somebody keeps on trying to bring you back into a toxic situation, if you want to have that one up on them, don't go back. Don't go back. Don't respond to calls. I don't care how hard it is. Let me tell you. When I was with my son's father, I used to think about him so much. I would have to like, I would have to put anything down that I was working on and pray and ask God to please help me to focus my mind on my work because I was in this real obsessive, possessive, he's only mine thing. And he wasn't even in a relationship with me. And I'm feeling this obsessed. I had to change the ringtone on my phone because every time I heard it, I was so anxious that it might be him. My heart would start to be, I would almost hyperventilate. I was like, oh no girl, mm -mm, this ain't this ain't it. Like they could be my puppet master. They can make me have a good day or they can make me have a bad day. They can make me feel beautiful. They can make me not feel beautiful. They can make me feel wanted. They can make me not feel wanted. No, 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 no. I'm not giving that much power over to nobody. I'm gonna go ahead, exit stage left. Since you wanna be on that toxic back and forth thing, we can't figure this out after about one, two times. Let's just leave it alone. Let's just dead it. He need to take accountability. He shouldn't have went over there at all. Don't be coming now and be like, I'm so sorry. I can't believe I did that. I'm so sorry. No, you should have never, 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 never let her pull you out of your comfort zone like that. Let her pull you out of your element like that. And now look where we at. I'm being painted as this bad, evil, evil ass nigga that just went and drive destroyed her car for no reason. And that's not, that is not the truth. The whole truth is not being said. She is not telling y'all how she fucking harassed me Thursday night and fucking posted on my Facebook, tagged my family and shit. And I seen the shit and I got mad, of course. And then I went and fucking destroyed her car. She's not telling y'all that though. And she's not going to because she want to look like the victim. We both should have left each other alone a long time ago. She has done damage the house where I stay in. She done busted out windows, the windows to the living room, my room, a whole... Uh, there's a hole in the living room wall that she caused because she fucking came came into my house trying to fight me and shit. Now she mentioned in another video where I I broke her phone because I went into the place where she was staying at the time she still stays there now. I did not break in. I went in calmly. I went in there apologetic, trying to show her, look, I'm sorry, baby. I don't want to hurt you anymore. I'm sorry, but during that argument and fight right there she said some things that made me snap she said some things that made me snap and then she hit me in my jaw she punched me in my jaw so yes i reacted the way i did uh -uh. I... Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. nope 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 we're not about to make excuses for that. if she was sitting up there saying triggering words to you get your ass out that house that's it that's it you ain't always got to be right. You ain't always got to prove a point. You ain't always got to do none of that. Just leave. And if she, I'm not letting you leave, I'm not letting you leave. Okay, well then I'm gonna call the cops on you, girl. Cause we ain't about to get into this tussling match and they take me to jail. No. Things at her. I grabbed her phone. I threw her phone against the wall. Yes, I broke her phone. I'm not denying none of that. I did all that. And I apologize for all that shit too. I apologize genuinely for everything I ever did to that girl. But she's just so dead set on she's done and i'm like okay well if you really done with me then be done i'm done with you then too but no thursday night she come harassing me while i'm out on a date and then she went and post on my facebook and 
I reacted the way I reacted. Y'all seen it? What I, what the video got like 2.8 million views right now, man? Yes, I did that shit. I reacted the way I did, and I'm sorry. I should never have done that shit. I should never have gotten reinvolved with her again. Like even after 28, we got back. We got we started. We started. We reconnected back in 2022, and from there it has just been. Lots of good times, but more bad times because of things that I did. And I told her I was sorry about all that. I should have never, ever done any of the things that I did to her because she really did hold me down. She held me down. For any of my young men who's watching out here, you could only apologize so many times. For anybody out there wondering, you could only apologize so many times. You could only mess up with somebody so many times. I don't believe there is any such thing as unconditional love with a person who is not your blood, your child, you know what I'm saying? With a person who is outside of you, who's supposed to love and respect you, there, there's, there's conditions. Cause conditions come with respect. So there's conditions to my love. Meaning you can't keep on messing up and hurting my feelings and hurting my feelings and hurting my feelings. Then you say sorry, then you say sorry, then you say sorry, but then you do it again and again and again. Oh, well you don't respect me. <laughs> You don't respect me or my feelings. You don't care about me. You don't even have unconditional love for me. You, Your love is based on conditions. You gonna love me as long as you get to go outside and do whatever you want and return back to me. That's when That's when you gonna love me. I didn't meet her halfway. I didn't do right. I didn't do don't right. Let it I go. learned my lesson, bro. I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. I'm, and I was trying and I'm still trying. I'm still trying to be a better person for myself. My life ain't all the way together how it need to be, and I'm working towards that. <sighs> like, bro, like she, but she wants to keep, she wants to keep painting me in this bad light, and that's just not true. None of that shit is true, man. I'm not this evil ass, disgusting ass nigga like she claims I am, man. Like, it's just not true. So yeah, like I said, the whole truth is not being said. She's not telling all the shit that she ever did to me. Literally, she's not saying none of that. She wants to look like the victim. And that's crazy because a lot of the things that I've done, she has done as well. I couldn't even, I couldn't even pull my phone out around this woman without her thinking that I was talking to somebody else. She's accused me of cheating on her, all that. I never cheated on her. I never cheated on her. During our relationship, during our relationship, throughout the relationship, I had sex with three three other women three other women three other women and so has she she had sex with three different guys during that time our relationship but i never cheated on her i never had sex with another woman while i was with her while i'm knowing that i'm with her this is my girlfriend i never cheated on her everything that i did was while I was single. While I was single, all the things. All, the th all right, was you single or were y'all on a break? Cause that's another little thing people like to be. Let's just take a break. Let's just take a break. Let's just take a break. We're not working out right now, so let's just take a break. We were on a break. What do you mean you mad at me? So if y'all on a break and you was doing stuff, you really didn't have no intention of getting back together. Because when y'all on a break, you're supposed to be thinking about your person and how you can be better than, to them. You're not supposed to be out here being like, well, shoot, I'm on a break right now. Things ain't working out. I'm about to go do whatever. Same goes for the girl. Y'all shouldn't have been doing this. That she did, she did while she was single. She swears to God that I cheated on her. I never cheated on her. I never, ever cheated on her. I never cheated on her. I never cheated on her. I never cheated on her. I, I did things, like I said, I did things that I'm not proud of. I wish to God I can take it back because that's not who I am, man. But I did this shit. I can't take it back. All I can do is learn from it and grow from it. And I have. And I'm still growing. Nobody's going to get it right overnight. This shit is a process. But somebody has to want change for themselves and has to make the necessary, take the necessary actions to change for real. And I'm doing that. I've been doing that. But she just wants to keep painting me in this bad light. But basically, from Thursday Ow. night is when the, the crash out shit happened. Basically, she found out she found out that I was with another woman. Mm -hmm. I'm single. I'm going to go out on dates. I'm going to see other women because I'm single. I can do what I want just like she can. She's single. She can do what she wants. That's a grown woman. I don't care what she does. So she shouldn't care what I do. But clearly she does because this woman called me. 
pulled up on me, tried to destroy my car. And then she went and posted on my Facebook that she has control of because she stole my phone, bro. I never once stole none of her property, none of that. She destroyed, she's destroyed my property before in the past and I never destroyed none of her shit before mm -hmm. this, this before, before I went and destroyed her car. But I never did none of that. But like I said, I reacted the way I reacted because she provoked me. She provoked me, man. What? I was done with her. I was gonna grant her biggest wish and her biggest wishes was for, for me to leave her alone. And I was doing that. I was doing that. I was leaving her alone. She reinserted herself back into my life. She called me, texted me, harassed me, came fucking with me, and then she- A life you have full control over. You have full control over your life. Okay. Posted on my Facebook and I seen it and I got mad, of course. So I went over there and I destroyed her car. That's basically what happened. That's all it is really. Her, for her, for her sister to tell her that I was staking out her mother's apartment and all that, that is all, that is all a lie. For her to say that I was blowing her up on Cash App, yes, I did that because I wanted her to talk to me, man. I love, I love this woman, man, more than I've ever loved anyone before. She swears I love everybody. That's not true. I did, I've never loved a woman more than I loved her. Cause like, like I said, she held me down. She, she did a lot of things for me. And I, that's why I loved her, man. I loved her as a person. It don't got shit to do with looks. It don't got shit to do with looks. I loved her as a person, the type of person she was and how she treated me. That's why I loved her. But my retarded ass, not seeing what I had right in front of me, was seeking out other women, doing all this extra bullshit that I should not have been doing. And I'm sorry about that shit, man. I'm sorry. And I tried to get her to see so many times that I was sorry, that I was sorry, man. I fucking made her birthday special all the way from Texas while she was in Miami. But she ended up breaking up with me again one last time because she assumed that I was still doing the same bullshit that I had been doing for the past two years. And I just, I wasn't doing that shit, man. And that is the God honest truth. I wasn't doing that shit. I swear to God, I wasn't doing that shit. I wasn't doing it, but she's just so, it's just so much shit that I did that she just, she'll never trust me. She'll never trust me or believe that I truly am sorry when I am. But you know what I'm saying? What's done is done. You know what I'm saying? It's all, oh, it's, we both gonna be okay. We're both going to be okay. I wish her the best. She don't wish death on me, my whole family. I wish death on her one time. I did that shit one time back in 2022. I never should have done that either. And I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it because I had a dream. I literally had a dream while we was on the phone one night. While we was on the phone. She's in Miami. I'm here at home in Texas. Because we was falling asleep on the phone. Right, she mentioned in the video how I just wouldn't leave her alone. That was after she fucking broke up with me. That was after she broke with me. Yeah, I went and downloaded the Text Me Now apps, whatever, trying to talk to her and all this, sending her money, the little notes on Cash App, like, hey, unblock me, let's talk about this, let's work it out. Yes, I did all that. I'm not condoning all of that, but that was after she left me. She is trying to say that I ruined her entire trip to Miami, and that's just not true. She went on a date with another guy while she was out there in Miami after she left me, right? How did I ruin any of that? How did I ruin that? And I'm all the way over here in Texas. How, how? This is not true, man. I didn't ruin nothing. You in Miami, Florida. Come on, man. That's one of the most famous, iconic cities in the world. And you're there by yourself. And I'm here. How did I ruin your trip to Miami? She's saying that I ruined it because I was bothering her, trying to talk to her and shit still. And like, come on, man. It's, it's just, none of that shit is true, but yeah. I just had to speak my piece. The reason I destroyed her car is because she came harassing me after I realized, yes, she's done. I need to be done too. I need to leave her alone. And I was doing that, but no, she came fucking with me again. She's posting videos of all the, and like I said, all the injuries she sustained while we was together. She was the aggressor most of those times. She found out I did something and she put her hands on me and I acted in self-defense every single time. 
right hand to God. I never, ever, ever put my hands on her first. My birthday, 2023. I had a black eye for my birthday, 2023. She had a black eye for her birthday also last year. <laughs> we gave each other black eyes for our birthdays. We both did. Mine came first and then hers came. Like, come on, man. And she, she, we was in Colorado. With that situation, this woman that I used to talk to ended up texting her phone talking about she missed me because I don't know, she whatever she did, whenever she hacked my Facebook, she went and changed all the emails, whatever, on the iPhone, whatever. I don't know how that happened, but when the uh, that woman, the other woman texted me thinking she's talking to me, it went to my ex's phone and we got into it about that. And we in the car, she started trying to hit on me and so, I hit her back because like I said, I'm not finna just let nobody hit on me. I never, I don't condone men hitting women. I don't condone that. I literally beat the shit out of my sister's baby daddy for doing that shit to her. So I don't condone that shit. She's trying to make it seem like I'm just, she trying to make me look like I'm just this abusive ass nigga, man. But she's not, she's not mentioning how she was hitting on me also. She's not mentioning none of it. She's not mentioning none of that, man. So that's all I'm saying. We both should have left each other alone a long time ago, but we loved we loved each other, man. We loved each other. The shit was toxic as hell, but we loved each other. She claims that all the shit that I did to her, nobody can do that to somebody that they love. Yes, I did all that shit, but the, uh, that woman, the other woman, texted me thinking she's talking to me. It went to my ex's phone, and we got into it about that. And we in the car, she started trying to hit on me, and so. I hit her back because, like I said, I'm not finna just let nobody hit on me. I never, I don't condone men hitting women. I don't condone that. I literally beat the shit out of my sister's baby daddy for doing that shit to her. So I don't condone that shit. She's trying to make it seem like I'm just, she's trying to make me look like I'm just this abusive ass nigga, man. But she's not, she's not mentioning how she was hitting on me also. She's not mentioning none of it. She's not mentioning none of that, man. So that's all I'm saying. We both should have left each other alone a long time ago, but we loved, we loved each other, man. We loved each other. The shit was toxic as hell, but we loved each other. She claims that all the shit that I did to her, nobody can do that to somebody that they love. Yes, I did all that shit, but whole time I really did love her. I really did love her very much. I was just stupid and I didn't see what I had right in front of me. I was stupid. I made stupid choices and I made stupid mistakes and I regret doing all that shit. And I feel sorry for her that I put her through all that because she really is a good person. She's a good person, but when she's mad and upset and hurt, she is evil. She is evil. She had no business stealing my phone, hacking my Facebook and my social medias, all that. She had no business posting on my shit, trying to expose me about some shit that nobody is supposed to know about shit that I know is wrong and that I grew from that I'm not proud of it but I don't do shit like that no more but she want the world to see she want the world to see and that's wrong man because I'm apologetic and I'm I've changed man I don't do I don't I'm not on that shit no more so you know it, it is what it is man I'm just not finna sit here and let her just paint me in this bad light let her make herself look like the victim when she is not 100% clean in the situation either. Thursday night, she came fucking with me, and so I went and fucked her shit up, and I shouldn't have done that because I done caught a whole felony behind the shit now. The police have have seized my car. I, I have to wait to get my car back and all that. I should never have went over there and destroyed her car. I shouldn't have busted the window out. I'm so sorry that her daughter ended up sustaining an injury because of what I did. I threw, took the thing, uh, took the whatever, I, uh, whatever I took out of her car that night, and threw it out the window, busted the window out. I'm sorry to her friend that she's staying with, that I caused damage to her house. That's all I'm saying. I'm sorry about all that shit, but I just want the whole truth to be heard. I want my side to be heard, man. She provoked me to do that shit because she's hurt and she's bitter. She should never, like I said, like I said, we should have left each other alone a long time ago. We both should have left each other alone a long time ago. That's all I'm saying, man.
but we loved each other. She claims I didn't love her because of the shit that I did to her. Regardless of what I did to her, I still loved her very much. And I had a dream, like she done wish, she done wish death on me and my whole family. Anytime she ever did that, it would piss me off so bad because my family has nothing to do with this. Why are you wishing death on my family? I had a dream, literally, and she, she knows this. While we was on the phone, while she's in Miami, she's on the phone, we on the phone sleeping because we would do that. We would fall asleep on the phone together. I woke up from a dream. I had a dream that she passed away. I had a dream that she passed away. I woke up crying and she saw me crying, man. She saw me shedding tears for her because I had a dream that she passed away. And I was so, it hurt, that dream hurt me because I really do, I really did love her. And if she was to pass away, I would be sick, man. If she was to pass away, I would be sick. And so, but she thinks that I don't love her though. Didn't love her, like, come on, man. Like, bro, this, this shit, it should never have gotten to this point. We both should have left each other alone a long time ago, a long time ago. But I just want my side of the story to be heard. You know what I'm saying? I want my side to be heard and it's not being heard. I'm being painted as the bad guy. I'm being painted as the bad guy, the aggressor. When I'm really not, she has done things as well to provoke me to do the things that I did. But she's not telling y'all that though. She's not saying none of it. <laughs> she's not saying none of it. She has caused damage to where I live. She has broken, destroyed my property. So, and I never did that to her until recently. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, man. It is what it is, man. There's no, there's no going back. There's no going back from this. I don't want nothing to do with her. I don't want to see her. I don't want to talk to her. And I know that she is on that same time. We're done. We are done this time for real. We're done. I should have left her alone. I shouldn't have kept on trying to contact her all that i should never have done that shit and i regret that shit i regret everything i regret everything that i ever did because it should never even got to that point it should never even got to that point the whole the whole country knows about this shit now and it should never have gotten to this point like i don't know why in the fuck she done went and posted videos i don't she i don't know why she went and did that shit man like that shit lame as hell to me like Keep whatever we going through, keep that shit between us. Keep that shit between us, man. Keep that shit between us. We supposed to work this shit out or not work it out, work it out at all, man. But she done went and involved literally the entire country. For what? You want, because you want the whole country to see that I'm this bad, evil ass nigga that just came and tried to destroy your car for no reason. Like, no. That's not what happened. That is not what happened. I just told y'all what really happened. And I have a witness, my date from that night. I have a witness, man. I have a witness. My witness can attest to that shit. She came fucking with us, literally. She came fucking with us. And then she did what she did. She posted on my Facebook. And so I did what I did, you know what I'm saying, man? So that's just all that was. She found out. She said she don't, she claims she don't love me. She don't care what I do. But her doing what she did, clearly shows that she still cares about me cares what i do she can't fuck it with me she can't fuck it with me i was leaving her alone i was giving her what she wants all she ever wanted was for me to leave her alone and i was doing that literally i had not tried to contact her or see her ever since i popped up on her at her mother's house and for her sister to say that i was staking out her mother's apartment that is completely false that is completely false i just happened to see her on the way over there so yeah i turned around i had gotten from i had gotten flowers for her i had gotten some flowers man <laughs> to say i'm sorry i've gotten her flowers several times like three or four times like because when y'all like y'all like when a nigga gets you flowers right okay i don't bought this girl purses jewelry all that shit man like bro i loved her man i loved her and i just didn't understand why she was leaving me when we was doing good we were doing good while she was out there in miami we were doing okay i was actually i was actually supposed to go out there to see her and spend the remainder of her miami trip with her i was actually supposed to go out there with her but 
I ended up having to work and she ended up leaving me anyway, so I didn't go to Miami. I didn't go. I wanted to, I wanted to, I wanted to pop up out, I wanted to pop up on her out there in Miami to show her that, look, baby, I'm sorry. You are the one for me. This is where I want to be. Wherever you are, that's where I want to be because I love you, bro. But no, I was not welcome, so I didn't go. That's all that was, man. I was leaving that girl alone. But no, she came and like I said, she's not telling she's not telling y'all that though. She's not telling y'all that. She's not telling y'all none of that. <laughs> and that's what that's good that's what's that's what's fucked up to me. Like tell the if you gonna tell the shit, tell the whole tell the whole tell the whole story. Mention the things that you did also. Mention the things that you did also. Come on man. Like come on. But whatever, like it is what it is, man. Like I said, we both should have left each other a long, a long time ago. What you think about to happen with them? I'll tell you what I think is about to happen. They're about to continue to go through the same toxic cycle. He is way too infatuated with this girl. I don't know if it's lack of self-esteem, if he thinks he can't pull somebody who's gonna love him like that. I don't know what it is, but young man, you need to get away from that girl quick, fast, and in a hurry. Don't do no double backs. And young lady, if you got you a child, you need to stop going back to that man. Ain't no use in you fighting in front of your kid when you can avoid it. And if y'all don't want to listen, if y'all too act like y'all don't know how to listen to me, it's going to be some furniture getting rearranged at both y'all house. Both y'all house. Rearranging. Rearranging. And I'm going to tell you right now, I wish somebody would try to knock me through a wall. I, I wish somebody would decide they was going to give me a black eye. Shoot, girl, let me know what you think down in the comments or if you need to borrow my belt. I have been the Just Case and Brand. Please make sure to like the video, share the video with a friend, subscribe to the channel, because as you see, we have a good time down here. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.